So Michael, we know that searching for a job is a full-time job. Some sometimes it might take some months or not that long. But again, there's a lot of process happening, some good, some rejection, some spending a lot of time in front of the computer, sometimes networking, sometimes other things. But how can job seekers stay positive during this whole process, in your opinion? I can give you my experience mm -hmm. there. Um, before I got the job here at the receptionist now, five and a half years ago, as we record this, I was going through a very lengthy job search process. And it was, it was something that I made it. So I made it my full-time job. I would get up at the same time in the morning. I would go shut myself in my office. And my job was to apply for jobs yeah. and to do interviews and to network. I would say the thing that kept me positive though, through that, because it was a very lengthy process and I did go through a lot of rejection yeah. <laughs> as well, was holding, holding true to the things that brought me joy outside of work. Yeah, And what I mean by that was I still went on daily walks. Mm -hmm. I still made it a point to spend time with my family, when my, uh, with my kids when they got home from school. Yeah, I still made it a point to make dinner every night, just mm -hmm. as I would if I had been coming home from work because I'm, I'm the cook of the family. Yeah. I still got up at the same time in the morning and went and exercised. Yeah. Um, I, I, I went to the gym. I kept my routines of yeah. the things that I knew... When, when so much uh, is out of your control in a job search process, I can't control when a recruiter calls me back. I can't control, you know, if a, if a company decides that I move to the next round or not at, within the, the framework of the decision-making yeah. process. Yeah. I, I certainly can control my, how I bring myself to the interview. Yes. But if I can keep all the other things that give me a sense of control the same in my life, if I can keep those moving forward and, and, consistent that helped keep me positive so that's what i i would i would advocate others do is mm -hmm. lean into the things that you know you can control i always tell my clients have a schedule as you mentioned monday mornings maybe networking in the afternoon go to the gym maybe tuesday morning take a walk and then in the afternoon maybe take it the day off and Wednesday, apply for a job, uh, do informative interviews. So, and also uh, uh, celebrate small wins. If they call yes. you or if you get an interview, even if you get rejected, celebrate those small wins because those are the things that will help you go move forward. Every no is one step closer to the next yes. Uh, and, and you do, you have to celebrate those small wins because the no's and the rejections can at times feel like they're piling up on you. And yeah. that can get very disheartening. But if you can if you can keep your eye on how different processes and things are moving forward, um, and keep those commitments in the other areas that you mentioned, I mean, I don't, I, how many times I I thought of a a great question to ask my next interview, uh, the next person who was interviewing me, on a walk, you know, get those creative juices going, read a book, get away mm -hmm. from those things so that you can bring your full self to them mm -hmm. when you are fully invested in that time. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And thank you for those great tips. And for the audience, if you have, if you're watching, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Michael.